yet. We're not ready yet. Not yet. I'm not in my place. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, no. We're uh, not my ready. My boy, she's not ready. La, 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 la. Oh, I need more time. Whoops. Sorry. <clears throat> We're so very glad that you've arrived. We humbly welcome you. And now with your permission, we like to sing this tune. Oh, Blendolini, honey, you are good. Right back at you, Mama. Welcome to your kitchen. There's always something new. Just add imagination, and we will work for you. I eat the trash. I bake your food. There ain't nobody sicker. But if you want it fast, use me. Cause I can do it quicker. I blend. I toast. We hang around. I keep food cold inside. I squirt. Then I wash every dish and warm them till they're dried. Welcome to your kitchen. Welcome, welcome. There's always something new. Just add imagination and we will work for you. Just add imagination and we will work for you. Hello and welcome to your kitchen. Please enter your first name using the keyboard. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bears if Let's finish Play. Typing your name, I'm Kristen, click on the okay button. and there's someone in the kitchen. Oh wait, it's me. <laughs> welcome to There's Someone in the Kitchen, a DreamWorks game. I hope you enjoy. We're going to be doing some cooking today. I love cooking games. How about you? This kind of reminds me of uh, the Disney Kitchen game, if you remember that video that I did. That was another one of my favorite uh, cooking games when I was growing up. But I hope you enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Maybe you played this game. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. I have a Twitter and Instagram you can follow, a streaming channel, and a Discord server with the best community ever. They are such nice people. Use the Discord uh, invite link down below so you can come and join us and say hi. We'd love to see you. And welcome to all of the new members that have joined us this week. We are so glad that you have joined and introduced yourselves, and it's been a blast getting to know you guys. All right, let's get cooking. Exploring the kitchen is a lot of fun. If you need any help, just click on me. Click on the cookbook to make a recipe. There are lots of breakfasts, lunches, dinners, and desserts to choose from. What is it, sweetie? What's wrong? You want me to open up? All right. Now, how did that get in there? Cool. That is for fun. Hey, Blob, have you ever thought about how right we are for each other? How we're meant to be together? Huh? Well, I mean, we both get water from the same place. We both clean dishes. You have hot water. I have hot water. Don't you ever ponder how amazing that is? Um, no. There's a shocker. Hot cha cha cha, -cha. Yeah, you know why I'm so good at cooking, man? Cause like, 
Do you guys actually know what I do? I like make the water molecules in food like dance. That's like totally my thing, making molecules dance to my extremely groovy, harsh ways. It is so gnarly. They dance so hard, they get the food all hot. Is that awesome or what? Hey, what was that? I don't know, but I definitely heard something. <laughs> there it goes again. <clears throat> Maybe it's a ghost. Mamma mia! <laughs> help! Help somebody! There's a ghost in here! It's just me! It's been me the whole time! <laughs> Boy, you guys were sure scared. <laughs> we sure were, kid. We sure were. Water! 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 <coughs> hey! What are you trying to do? Drown us? Yeah, say it. Don't spray it. New Year's Day. The new year begins on January 1st. Many people like to rest and have fun watching the Tournament of Roses Parade on television, which has lots of cartoon characters riding on floats. The characters are made out of flowers, especially roses. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. We honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. because he believed all people should be treated in the same way. In his famous I Have a Dream speech, he said that people should not be judged by the color of their skin. Groundhog Day. Some people say that if on this day the groundhog sees its shadow, there will be six more weeks of winter. If it is not sunny, then there will be an early spring. President Lincoln's birthday. On February 12th, in the year 1809, our 16th president was born. His name was Abraham Lincoln. He helped pass a law which freed the slaves. Abraham Lincoln's face is on the penny. Valentine's Day. This is a special day to celebrate love and friendship. In school, some children exchange Valentine's Day cards and candy. For Valentine's Day, it is fun to let friends and family know you love them. President's Day. This day is dedicated to all of our former presidents. Most people celebrate the lives of George Washington or Abraham Lincoln. But some people celebrate the lives of Chester Arthur or Martin Van Buren. 95% of all soybeans in America are used to feed farm animals. Lent. Lent is a time period of 40 days starting on Ash Wednesday. It is a time when many Christian people think about the past year and what they can do to be better next year. Lent finishes at Easter. St. Patrick's Day. This holiday is in honor of a man named St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. Many Irish American people celebrate this holiday by dancing the Irish jig and singing. Be sure to wear green or you might get pinched. April Fool's Day. On April 1st, people act silly and play jokes on friends, sisters, brothers, parents, or anyone they want. Be sure the tricks are not dangerous. They're supposed to be funny and silly. Passover. For many Jewish people, this holiday celebrates freedom. On this holiday, Jewish people eat a type of bread, which is flat, called matzah. Easter. 
On this holiday, many Christian people go to church, for this is a very important religious holiday. Many Christian children celebrate Easter by having Easter egg hunts and dyeing Easter eggs. Earth Day. Our planet is very special. People should be careful with what they do to the Earth. Try not to throw trash on the ground or waste water. Our planet Earth needs to last a long time. Arbor Day. The word arbor means tree in a language called Latin. On this day, some people plant trees because they are important to everything that lives on the planet Earth. Since paper is made from trees, try to save paper by writing on both sides. Lay Day. On this day, many people in Hawaii celebrate friendship and love. They wear a necklace made out of flowers. It is called a lei. This is not my real birthday. I never put my real birthday in any of these Let's Plays. Just clarifying, but I thought May the 4th be with you would be kind of funny. So that's my birthday, May the 4th. But not really. Okay. Cinco de Mayo. On May 5th in 1862, the people who lived in Mexico City protected the city so that the French army could not take over their home. In the United States, many Mexican Americans celebrate this holiday with picnics, music, dancing, and fireworks. Mother's Day. On this day, many people like to show their mothers that they love them. To express love and appreciation, a person may give flowers, candy, or something handmade. It's great to spend time with mom. Memorial Day. During the history of our country, America has had to fight in wars. Memorial Day is the day to remember the men and women who died fighting for freedom. Flag Day. On June 14th in the year 1777, a design was chosen for the American flag. Betsy Ross sold the first flag of the United States, colored red, white, and blue. The first flag had 13 stripes and 13 stars. Today, the United States flag has 50 stars, one for each state. Father's Day. On this day, many people show appreciation, respect, and love for their father. On Father's Day, a person may give presents which are bought or handmade. It's fun to spend time with old dad. Independence Day. On July 4th in the year 1776, an important piece of paper called the Declaration of Independence was signed. The American colonies, what we now call states, won their freedom from England. This is how the United States was born. To celebrate July 4th, many people watch fireworks displays, have picnics, or go to parades. Bastille Day. This is the French version of our 4th of July. It celebrates the day when the French people became free from their king. France now has a president, just like the United States. Four-day intertribal Indian ceremonial. Many Native American children enjoy themselves during this celebration. More than 50 tribes get together in the state of New Mexico and celebrate their traditions and cultures. Many dances are performed. International Left-Handers Day. Most things in our daily life are made for right-handed people. Now, if you are right-handed, try to think about what it must be like to be left-handed by writing with your left hand for a day. <laughs> She's not so easy. Labor Day. 
Labor Day is in honor of the hard-working men and women of the United States. National Grandparents Day. On this day, people like to do something special for their grandparents. Just spending time with grandparents can be the best present of all. Rosh Hashanah. This day is celebrated as the New Year by many Jewish people. During this holiday, no bitter or sour foods are eaten. Foods such as apple and honey are eaten. They stand for health and sweetness for the next year. Enjoy! Yom Kippur. This is a holiday observed by many Jewish people. On Yom Kippur, Jewish people say prayers and fast, which means the people do not eat for one day. Columbus Day. Over 500 years ago, on October 12, 1492, Christopher Columbus discovered America. United Nations Day. Do you know what the United Nations is? On this day in the year 1945, people from many countries around the world got together. They made a big group called the United Nations. The United Nations is set up to keep peace and make sure people are treated right. Halloween. On this day, many children dress up in costumes, masks, and makeup and go trick-or-treating where they live. They usually are given a lot of candy. Election Day. Once every four years, Americans choose who they want as the President of the United States. You have to be 18 years old to vote. Veterans Day. You know, many brave men and women help to keep people in the United States free and safe. So on this day, we thank these people. Thanksgiving. A long time ago in the year 1621, people called pilgrims arrived at Plymouth Rock in America. Because they were so happy to be in America, they shared a big dinner with the Native Americans. Today, many families get together and have a big dinner with turkey, stuffing, cranberries, and sweet potatoes. They give thanks for all they have. Hanukkah. This holiday, also called the Festival of Lights, is celebrated by many Jewish people. During this celebration, a candle is lit each night for eight nights, on a special type of candlestick called a menorah. New Year's Eve. On December 31st, many people celebrate the ending of the year and the beginning of a new year. The next day, the year changes and the calendar starts over. La, 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 la. Christmas. On this holiday, many Christian people celebrate the birthday of Jesus. They decorate Christmas trees and open up presents brought down the chimney by Santa Claus. Kwanzaa. This is a special seven-day festival in the United States, which is like the festivals in Africa. People celebrate the gathering of food. During this holiday, many African-American children and adults get together and celebrate their families. Children might get presents. Are you sure you want to exit? Toby, ask me what the key to baking is. Okay, what's the key to Timing? baking? Timing! <laughs> oh. 
When I eat food, don't think me rude, but I so love debris. I'm filled with bliss, for garbage is a gourmet meal to me. Cool! Have you ever put grape jelly on a pickle? Made a cookie with ground beef and chocolate chips? Blended ice cream, nuts and chicken. Put some red and let it thicken. And then cut it up to look like lumpy lips. Have you ever made a burger with bananas? Mixed a cherry like with garlic and hot sauce. You'll discover you can do it. There is really nothing to it. You're the chef, you call the shots cause you're the boss. You're the boss! Choose who you want to play with by clicking on them. Hey, Akido, don't you want to make us some Bellissimo drinks? Dude, I know how to make some gnarly noshes. Aren't you going to pick someone to play with? I know some awfully good sandwich recipes. Whoa, flashback! Pick me! Pick me! Ha <laughs> ha! You choose a blendolini! <laughs> oh, I'm a so happy! There's a lots of good stuff you can put in the drinks. You can find some for blendolini? Hi there, love. If you, you need some ingredients? If you match mode now, we'll lose anything you have started. Are you sure that's what you want? Excellent! I can't wait to see what we're gonna make. I'm hungry already. Lunches. Breakfasts. Pancakes with fresh fruit. Pa pancakes, flapjacks, or hotcakes. No matter what you call them, they're fun and easy to make. Let's begin. First, we must crack an egg into the bowl. Very nice indeed. Next, we need to find the milk. <coughs> Perfect. Now we need the measuring cup. I don't think it's me. Great. We need to measure out one cup of milk and pour the milk into the bowl. Great! Now we need some butter. Very good. We need the tablespoon. Let's measure out two tablespoons of butter into a small bowl. I don't think so. Okay, we need to melt the butter. So let's go to the microwave. Hello. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Well, we need to open you up so we can melt some butter. Let's put the bowl in. It should cook for 30 seconds. Well, try someone else, dude. Great! Now hit start. Hey, man, ever think about time? I mean, 30 seconds doesn't seem like much time, but a fruit fly lives for only a few hours. To a fruit fly, 30 seconds must seem like a year. But some trees live for hundreds of years, man. Those trees must think that 30 seconds is really like less than a second. I measure time all day, man. But should I measure it like a fruit fly or like a tree? I mean, what if I... All right, okay, we get it. But the real 30 seconds is up, so let's open the microwave. Let's take the butter back to the counter and finish the pancakes. Next, we need to sift one and one quarter cups of flour. So first, let's get the flour. We'll need to sift it, so let's get the sifter. We need to sift one cup of flour into the measuring cup, and then sift a quarter cup of flour into the measuring cup. Not 
We only need one more quarter cup of flour. Sorry, can't help you now. Great, next comes the salt, so we need a half teaspoon. Now let's get the salt. Arr, of us, ye salty dogs. It's the plank for ye. Arr. Excellent. Next is the baking powder, but first we need the teaspoon. Ah, yeah, right. Now, fire one. Fire two. All right. Now we need some sugar, but first we need a tablespoon. <coughs> and we also need the sugar. Mmm, mmm, so we. Now we need to mix this up with the whisk. We need to whisk all the ingredients. We need to whisk all the ingredients. That's fine. It can be a little lumpy, but that's enough. We're finally ready to cook them. Let's go to the stove. Hey, what's in the bowl? Pancake batter. Better be good to me. Okay, first, we need to grease the griddle with the cooking oil using the paper towel. Let's get the paper towel. Now we need the oil. Next, we need to put the stove on medium heat. Low heat. Medium heat. We need to set the other dial to medium heat. Low heat. Medium heat. Perfect. Now we need to check whether it's hot enough. When you put a drop of water on the griddle, it should pop, sizzle, and disappear. <laughs> Let's make pancakes. First, you pour a small ladle full of the pancake batter onto the griddle. Let's make a couple more. Great! It only takes about a minute for the top to get puffy and for a bunch of small bubbles to form. That means they're ready to flip over. Get the spatula. Using the spatula, you can peek under the pancakes to see if they're done yet. Peek! Oh look, they're done! The spatula will remove them from the griddle now. They're almost ready, but first, let's decorate them with maple syrup and fresh fruit. They're almost ready, but first, let's decorate them with maple syrup and fresh fruit. Oh, taste test! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to fill the kitchen clean. What's it gonna be today? Breakfast. 
breakfast to go granola bars. Let's make a snack that tastes great and is actually good for you. First, we need to preheat the stove to 350 degrees so that the stove will be hot when we're ready to bake. Hey, so what's cooking? Granola bars. Granola bars? Well, in my day, we didn't have granola bars. If you wanted fiber, you had to eat a tree. Hey, man, I'm good at making things out of granola. Hey, this is my bit. Why don't you go make an egg explode? Mm, let's go. We need to begin by preparing our baking pan. Where's the butter? Good. We need to smear the bottom and sides of the pan with butter. Perfect. Now where are the eggs? Now use the fork to mix the eggs up. <laughs> All right, now we need the measuring cup. Great, we need two cups of granola. We need to measure out two cups of... Great! Now we need one more cup of the granola. I don't think so. Hey! Great job! Okay. Now we need to mix the eggs and cereal together with the mixing spoon. Me. I don't think so. Now we're ready to pour the granola into the pan. Use a spoon to make sure that the mixture spread to the edges of the pan. Sorry, I can't help you now. Patty cakes, patty cakes, baker's man. Bake got... Great job. Well, we're ready to put this in the oven. Let's go. Well, are you hot yet? Am I hot yet? Why, I'm so hot, if I were taller, I'd be the towering inferno. Well then, let's open the stove. Great, let's put the granola in. Now we need to set the timer for 20 minutes. You know, in my day, sticks and twigs were considered health food. Yeah, just a big old plate of birch bark that you could feel in your stomach for days. That's enough. Yep, just a big dry bowl of pine needles sprinkled with sawdust. And if you found a few worms or grubs in it, well, there was your protein. That's it. It's done. Let's get it out of there. Well, it's about time. Let's remove the granola. Remember, the stove is hot. They know already. Let's go. We've waited 10 minutes before cutting the granola. While the granola is still warm, we should use a butter knife to cut it into bars. Not me. Let's give these a try. Oh, taste test. Oh, taste test. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen,
gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to do the kitchen cleaning. cleaning. Put everything away that's where it goes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The dirty floor. And every crawl. And maybe while you're at it, blow your nose. Do the sink, now scrub it. Back and forth, you rub it. Why, whatever's grungy, you're almost done, no stress. So Keep it up, no stop it. Skate around the floor and mop it. Now the kitchen sparkles. Let's make another mess. Mm-mm-mm. What's it gonna be today? Breakfasts. Cheese, mushroom, and onion omelet. An omelet is really just a fancy way of making scrambled eggs. It's easy. Let's start with two eggs. <laughs> Shall we dance? Excellent. Now we need to spice it up a little. All we need is a pinch of salt. Just a tiny little bit. Where's the salt? Great. Now let's get the pepper. Now where were we? Ah, uh, yes, the recipe. Let's see. Eggs, spice, oh yes, water. We need to visit the sink. Did you hear about how he made a big puddle on the floor? Oh, man, really? Hey, who are you talking about? Well, how about the time he swallowed the spoon and we couldn't find it for days? Hey! That was a bummer. Who are you talking about? You. Me? Yeah, man. You got a loose washer or something? Hello, we're trying to make a recipe here. Sorry. Okay, all we need is a tablespoon of water, so let's get the tablespoon. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now let's turn on the water. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not me. Isn't he dreamy? Let's leave these two alone. We need to place the water into the bowl. I don't think so. Hooray! Let's go on. Now we need to mix up all the ingredients with the fork. <laughs> what could possibly happen next? Let's start with the cheese grater. Me. And the cheese? Here I am, here I am. Oh, could you please scratch my back? We oh, oh, a little more to the left and up. Oh, oh, that feels good so job. good. Now let's get the mushrooms. We need a quarter cup of chopped mushrooms. Those samurai knives could help. Hmm, are, are you sure? sure? Yeah. <gasps> Good. We need a quarter cup of chopped onions. Those samurai knives could help again. Hiya! Hiya! You know, I think we got everything we need. Let's go cook it on the stove. So, what's cooking? We're making an omelet. What do you say we turn the burner on under the skillet? It should be on medium. Low heat. Medium heat. Good. Now we need to melt some butter in the skillet so the omelet doesn't stick. Let's get the butter. Next, we need to pour our eggs from the large bowl into the skillet. Yikes! When the egg mixture starts to dry around the edges, it's time to add the other ingredients. We'll need the large spoon. Now spread it on the omelet. All of these ingredients should be spread across the center of the omelet in a line. Wait, just until the cheese starts to melt. Then we need the spatula. 
We need to fold the omelet over so that all the filling is in the middle. Let's use the spatula. I don't think so. It's all done, and boy, does it look terrific. Oh, taste test. Oh, taste test. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to fill the kitchen clean. Make it gleaming. Put everything away that where it goes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The dirty floor. And every crawl. And maybe while you're at it, blow your nose. <laughs> to the sink, now scrub it. Back and forth, you rub it. Why, whatever's my you're almost done, no stress. So Keep it up, don't stop it. Skate around the floor and mop it. So now the kitchen sparkles. Let's make another mess. Mm-mm-mm. What's it gonna be today? Breakfasts. Eggs Benedict. Hello. Today we're making Eggs Benedict. Ooh, sounds good. May I be of assistance? You certainly may. But first, we need to split our English muffin. We'll need the fork. Not me! Hung out! We also need the English muffin. <coughs> Taste test, would you like to help? Okay, we have to go and get some water. So will you take the English muffin to the toaster? You need water? We will in a minute, but first we have to grease the saucepan. We need the paper towel. And now we need the oil. Now let's put the saucepan in the sink. Now let's fill the pan with water. Uh-uh-uh, not me. Hey man, what'd you say you were making? Eggs Benedict. Sounds historical. Are you gonna need me, dude? As a matter of fact, we will. All right. Well, let's open the microwave. We need to melt our butter. Where's that butter? It should cook for 30 seconds. Great! Now hit start. Perfect! Now let's get our water and visit Old Smokey. Hi! What are you making? Eggs Benedict. Arnold? What did you say you were making? Eggs Benedict. Arnold? What? Eggs Benedict. Arnold? Benedict Arnold? Uh, why in the world would you want to make that? In my day, we made George Washington cherry pie. Yeah, but never Eggs Benedict Arnold. Very funny, guys. It's just Eggs Benedict. Next, we need to put the stove on medium heat. You're crazy! Low heat! Medium heat! Perfect! Now turn on the other dial to medium heat. Low heat! Medium heat! Okay, let's get our two pieces of Canadian bacon. I'm not the one. <laughs> Good job! Now that the water in the saucepan is boiling, we need to turn the heat down to low. You're crazy! Low heat! Excellent! Now we need our eggs. Not me! You put eggs in the water? Yes, it's called poaching eggs. Sounds more like egg soup. We'll see. Hey, how 
come I never get to do anything? Would you like to help? Please? Could I? I know I can. Well, how would you like to toast the English muffins? Yippee! Well, let's get the English muffins. Okay, we've got the eggs cooking and the Canadian bacon, the muffins are in the toaster, and the butter's in the microwave. Phew! The butter! Taste test, could you go to the microwave and bring us the melted butter? Let's go back to the counter. The thing that makes Eggs Benedict special is the hollandaise sauce. It originally came from Holland, but today it's going to come from our kitchen. Let's begin with the tablespoon. And we need our lemon juice. We need two tablespoons of lemon juice. Good. Mamma mia, she's a sour. Now we need the little quarter teaspoon. We need the cayenne pepper. Let's get a quarter teaspoon of the pepper. Oh, that's a hot. Let's get the strainer. Okay, we have to separate the eggs for this sauce. So let's get the eggs. When a recipe says you should separate the eggs, it means you should separate the egg yolks from the egg whites. If you're careful, it's pretty easy. Just carefully crack the egg into the strainer. The strainer will let the egg white strain through, but the yolk will stay in the strainer. You must be very careful and gentle, or the yolk will break and mix in with the white, and then you've got scrambled eggs. Why, thank you, taste test. Now, where's the salt? Let's blend. One, two, three. Now let's get the melted butter. Let's pour it in. Now we need to blend again for only five seconds. Let's blend. One, two, three, four, five. Hooray! Great. Let's pour this mixture into a small bowl. Looks like we're ready to put this all together. Let's go and let's take the sauce with us. The eggs and the bacon have been cooking for about three to five minutes. They should be almost done now. We'll need the spatula. Hey, wait for me! Not me! No, 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 oh, no. Try again. Oh, no. Now we need the bacon. Now we'll need our eggs. Let's get the little strainer. Let's strain an egg. No, 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 no. Try again. Let's strain the other egg. Now let's top it off with a hollandaise sauce. Let's get our sauce. Pour it on. Let's see. English muffins, Canadian bacon, eggs from our local market, and hollandaise sauce. What an international dish. Let's see how Taste Test likes it. Oh, Taste Test. Oh, Taste Test.
What's it going to be today? Breakfasts. Lunches. Tacos. Let's make tacos. First, we need to preheat the stove to 350 degrees so it will be hot when we're ready to bake. Are you hot yet? Nope. Are you hot yet? Nope. Are you hot yet? Am I hot yet? <laughs> Are you kidding? I am so hot a witch just tried to push a little kid into me. Let's open the stove, shall we? Now let's place the taco shells in the stove. Okay, they need to bake for five minutes. Let's set the timer. Five minutes doesn't give us much time. Let's go. Here we are. Let's see. Hmm. Why don't we begin with the cheese grater? And the cheese? Here I am, here I am. Oh, could you please scratch my back? We'll need... Oh, oh, a little more to the left and up. Oh, oh, that feels so good. Oh, oh, a little more to the left and up. Oh, oh, that feels so good. Great. Now let's take care of the vegetables. We'll start with the tomato. And now the onion. And the cilantro. Finally, the quarter head of lettuce. All right. Now we need to chop them all up into little pieces. Hiya! 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 Now we need some meat. Where's the pork chop? I don't think it's Not me. me. Chop. We need a quarter cup of pork chopped up. So where are those samurai knives? Hiya! Hiya! Now let's visit the microwave to warm up the pork. Hey, man, what are you doing here? Need me to cook something, bud? Well, actually, we just need to warm up some leftover meat that's already been cooked and refrigerated. Oh, man, when do I get to do some real cooking? Um, all we really need right now is for you to warm up the pork. Fine, whatever. Okay, why don't we put the pork in the microwave? It should cook for about 30 seconds. Great! Now hit start! Oh my, is that 30 seconds already? Hey man, that wasn't me. It was the old fogey. What do you want me to burn these things? Your five minutes is up! The taco shells! We need to get them out of the stove. Taste test? When the pork is finished heating in the microwave, will you bring it to the table, please? If you wait much longer, these taco shells are going to be toast. Toast? Are you making toast without me? No, nah, we're making taco shells, and if we don't hurry, we'll be burning taco shells. I know, I know. We better open Old Smokey. Phew, I was worried. Looks like we got here just in time. They look perfect. Perfect? Well, of course they're perfect. What do you expect? I've been doing this for years. Hey, your pork's warm. Yeah, but who do you think baked that pork in the first place? I could have done it. Please, when's the last time you were used for anything other than warm-up? Oh, man, if my cord were long enough, I'd come over there and... Okay, okay. Uh, why don't we go meet Taste Test at the counter? Excellent. We have everything we need. Now all we have to do is put it together. Let's begin with the meat.
Now you can make the tacos your own personal favorite by adding any combination of ingredients. When you're finished, you can put them on the plate. Oh no, pick someone else. Oh no, pick someone else. Taste test? Would you like to try the tacos? Yeah, yeah. But first we want to put some hot taco sauce on them. How about it? Okay, taste test. They're all yours. Oh, taste test. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're going to make. I'm hungry already. Lunches. Very veggie soup. Oh boy, you come to visit the blob? Need water? Why, yes we do. We're going to make soup. How much water you need? Well, three cups. Wow, that lots water. I know. We'll have to be very careful not to spill it. Where we put it? Into this large soup pot. Okay, me ready. As soon as we get the measuring cup, we'll be ready. Uh-oh. Sorry. Now we are ready. We need three cups. One. Two. Three. Great. Let's take this over to the stove. Hey, what are you making? Very veggie soup. Okay, we need to set the burner under the pot of water on low heat. You're crazy! Low heat! Alright, to keep the heat from escaping the pot, let's put the lid on. <laughs> Wonderful! Good! Now the burner under the skillet should be set to medium heat. Low heat! Medium heat! Great! Now we need to put a little butter in the skillet. So let's get the butter. Not me! Uh, hiya! Ooh -ya! Okay, next we need a quarter cup of onions diced. Hiya! Ooh -ya! That was wonderful! Now we need to stir the onions around in the skillet, so they'll get brown, but won't burn. I'm not the one. I don't think so. Keep going. Mix it some more. Now we need to turn off the burner under the onions, otherwise they'll burn. Low heat! We need that burner turned all the way off. 
Great. Let's get the rest of the ingredients together. We've got a good start, but let's get the rest of our ingredients. Okay, lots of veggies for our very veggie soup. Let's begin with one large potato. And let's get the tomato as well. You say tomato. You say potato. No, you say tomato. No, you say potato. No, you say tomato. No, you say potato. We need those no, samurai you say knives tomato. now. No, you say potato. Tomato. Potato. Tomato. Potato. 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 Hiya! Hiya! Phew! We called that whole thing off. Let's see what's next. Ah, the carrot. Let's do that. We need the celery. We need those samurai knives one last time. Hiya! Now that just leaves a can of corn. Where is it? Okay, now we need to open the can. Not me. Have no fear. I'll save you corn. Soon you'll be free to make delicious soup. Can open and away! Now let's put all these ingredients into the bowl. Let's get the bowl. <coughs> okay, let's get the corn into the bowl. Let's go to the stove. Let's turn this pot of water into a pot of soup. We'll need to remove the lid from the pot. We're almost ready to put this all together, but first, we need to add some seasoning. Let's get the quarter teaspoon. Now let's get the salt. <laughs> yeah, right. We also need a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And now the pepper. Ah, yeah, right. We also need a quarter teaspoon of basil. And now a quarter teaspoon of basil. If your troubles are nasal, then why not try basil? Let's put in the onions that we browned earlier. Now let's put in all the other vegetables. Now let's put the cover back on. And now we just leave it for 45 minutes. Let's set the timer. Not me! Now we're cooking. Later, that same day... Well, let's remove the lid. Oh, taste test! Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're going to make. I'm hungry already. Lunches. Grilled cheese and tomato sandwich. Ah, yes, a quick and easy lunch. The grilled cheese sandwich. Just to spice it up a little, let's make it a grilled cheese and tomato sandwich. 
first, we'll need some bread. It is a sandwich, after all. Great. Next, we need to butter both sides of each piece of bread. We'll need the butter knife. Thank you very much. Both sides. Sorry, I can't help you now. Thank you very much. Next, we need a couple of slices of American cheese. Where are they? Remember to remove the plastic wrap. How cluttered everything must be on that counter. Let me help you. Next, we need the tomato. We need one slice, so let's get those samurai knives. Hiya! Ooya! Great! Let's put one piece of bread on top of the other with the cheese and tomato inside. Well, we've got a sandwich, but now we've got to grill it. Let's visit the stove. So, what are we doing today? We're making grilled cheese. Ah, yes, an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Are you going to use me to toast the bread? I can do that. Sorry, but we need to grill the sandwich in a frying pan. How come? Because we should only put bread into you, and this bread has cheese on it. Yeah, kid, and you're lactose intolerant. But you can watch. Yay! Let's put the sandwich into the frying pan. <coughs> Next, we need to put the stove on medium heat. You're crazy! Low heat! Medium heat! When it's brown on one side, it's time to flip it over to the other. We'll need the spatula. Brown yet. Let's wait a few seconds and then check again. <laughs> it's brown. Let's flip. Now we wait till the other side's brown. Let's use the spatula again. Not me. <laughs> it's brown. Let's remove it. Oh, taste test! <laughs> Hi, taste test! How does a nice, toasty, grilled cheese and tomato sandwich sound? Yeah, yeah. Well, go right ahead. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. <laughs> Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're going to make. I'm hungry already. Dinners. Shrimp stir-fry. Time to make stir-fry, which means, of course, you stir while you fry. What are we going to fry? Let's begin with the carrot. Let's chop it up. Where are those samurai knives? Hiya! Ooya! Let's get the green onion, too. Not me! Let's chop it up. Hiya! Ooya! Let's fry this. So, what's cooking? We're making stir-fry. How about stir-toast? Or stir-souffle. Or stir-broil. Or stir-fricassee. Or stir-crazy. Stir no, sorry, it's stir-fry. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Let's start with the tablespoon. <coughs> now we need the oil. 
Let's turn the burner on to medium heat. Low heat. Medium heat. Good job. Let's add our carrots. Whee! It needs to stir constantly or it'll burn. Oh, taste test. Taste test, could you stir this for us? Yeah, yeah. Don't stop. The important thing about stir-fry is to keep stirring. <gasps> now, somewhere around here, we had a half cup of fresh pea pods. Where are they? I'm not the one you yeah! want. The green onion's going now, too. Taste test? We need to get the shrimp. You keep stirring. Our pre-cooked shrimp have been frozen. We need to thaw them before we put them in the stir-fry. How you do that? You're going to help. Me? Yes. First, we put the colander in the sink. <coughs> Next, we need to put the shrimp in the colander. Put them in. About 25 shrimp will do. Good. Now turn on the cold water. Wait a minute, man. You're washing frozen shrimp? We're not washing them. We're thawing them. Whoa! With cold water? It doesn't seem to make sense, but it works. I'll have to make a note of that. Cosmic. It looks like they're all thawed. Let's turn off the water. Ah, uh, uh, not me. Uh-huh. It's time to add the shrimp to the stir-fry. Let's go. Let's get the shrimp. <laughs> Pour them in. Now we need the measuring cup. <laughs> and we need the teriyaki sauce. We need one quarter cup. Good job. All the ingredients are in. Great. It's all finished. Hey, taste test. Want to try some delicious shrimp stir fry? Oh, taste test. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to fill the kitchen clean. Make it gleaming. Put everything away that where it goes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The dirty crawl. And every crawl. And maybe while you're at it, blow your nose. To the sink, now scrub it. Back and forth, you rub it. Why, whatever's my tea, you're almost done, don't stress. So Keep it up, don't stop it. Skate around the floor and mop it. So now the kitchen sparkles. Let's make another mess. Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're going to make. I'm hungry already. Dinners. Cornbread. All right, we're going to make cornbread. Well, which is it? Which is what? Is it corn or bread? Well, it's both. I mean, it's neither. I mean, it, it's, it's cornbread. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> and I thought my jokes were corny. Yeah, okay. Um, we need to preheat the stove to 425 degrees. Now let's go mix up our cornbread. Well, which is it? Let's get out of here. Why don't we begin with the flour? We'll need to sift it, so let's get the sifter. We need to sift one cup of flour.
Next, we need one cup of cornmeal. Let's measure out a cup of cornmeal. Great! We need the tablespoon. And we also need the sugar. Mmm, mmm, so sweet! Great! We need two more tablespoons of sugar for this recipe. Mmm, mmm, so sweet! Great! We only need one more tablespoon of sugar. Mmm, mmm, so sweet! Perfect! We need the tablespoon again. Now, how about some baking powder? Fire one! Now, let's get the half teaspoon. Now, let's get the salt. Arr, a vasty salty dogs. It's the plank for ye. Arr. Perfect. Now, where are the eggs? Next, we'll need the measuring cup again. And we also need the milk. We need one cup of milk. We need the measuring cup again. And finally, let's get the cooking oil. One quarter cup is all we need. Okay, let's get the mixing spoon. Not me! Great! We have to mix everything together now. So let's pour all the wet ingredients from the small bowl into the large bowl with all the dry ingredients. Wow, that's fantastic! Okay, let's get the mixing spoon. <coughs> Hooray! Let's go on! Great! Now we're almost ready to pour the batter into the pan. But first, we have to grease the pan using the cooking oil. Let's start with a paper towel. Now we need the oil. Okay, now let's pour the cornbread batter into the pan. Let's go and put it in the stove. Hey, what do you got in the pan? Cornbread batter. Hey, better, 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 swing! Okay, we get it. Now we preheated you. So are you hot yet? Am I hot yet? Why, I'm so hot I got planets orbiting me. Good. Let's open the stove. Let's put the pan in the stove. Now we need to set the timer for 20 minutes. Hey there! Uh, speaking of corn, why did the corn join the army? Why? He wanted to become a colonel! <laughs> a colonel, get it? We get it. Hey, 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 hey! Why did the farmer get so angry? I don't know. Somebody stepped on his corn! <laughs> that cornbread must be almost done. Yeah, but I'm just getting started. Let's open Smokey and remove the cornbread, fast! We made some cornbread for you. Oh, taste test.
Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to do the kitchen cleaning. Make it gleaming. Put everything away, that's where it goes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The dirty crawl. Every crawl. And maybe while you're at it, blow your nose. To the sink, now scrub it. Back and forth, you rub it. Why, whatever's my tea, you're almost done, don't stress. Keep it up, don't stop it. Skate around the floor and mop it. Now the kitchen sparkles. Let's make another mess. Mm-mm-mm. What's it gonna be today? Dinners. Personal pizzas. Whenever you're hungry, you can make your own personal pizza. All we need to start is an English muffin and a fork. Where's the fork? Hung out! We also need the English muffin. <coughs> we need to warm these up. Let's go over to Toby the toaster. So, what's cooking? Yeah, what do I get to watch you make this time? Personal pizzas. <sighs> well, you better preheat Old Smokey. We don't need Old Smokey. Hey! I just mean for this recipe. Oh, that's better. You know, for a minute there, I thought you were sending me to that big bake-off in the sky. Don't worry. So who are you going to use? You. Really? Me? You. <laughs> Yay! Come on, come on, hurry! Let me at him. All right, we need to put the English muffin in the toaster. Are they ready yet? Shh, I'm toasting. They're, they're ready. Thank you. Anytime, really. Nice shot, kid. Thanks, Smokey. Let's finish making pizza. Now each muffin gets a spoonful of tomato sauce, so we need the spoon. And now we need the tomato sauce. That was fun. Let's do it again. Excellent! Now let's get the cheese grater. And the cheese? Hello, Mr. Grater. Oh, could you please scratch my back? Sure thing, thank you. Let's cover both muffins with cheese. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. We need some more cheese. You missed the spot. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. A little more to the left. Now let's choose our toppings. Now you can use the pepperoni, olives, and green peppers to make whatever design you want on the pizza. If you're done dec if you're done de if 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 you're if you're done decorating, please select the microwave. If you're done decorating, please select the microwave. Those pizzas look delicious and beautiful. Hey, what are you making, dude? We're making pizza. Making pizza? Dude, don't you know you can order that to be delivered? Yes, we could, but this is more fun. Man, when I get the munchies, I can't wait to cook pizza. I just call the pizza dude. Actually, with your help, this will be much faster than any pizza delivery. Like, it's a cheesy breeze. Go for it, man. Well, let's open the microwave. Good. Now we need to put in the pizzas. Now let's punch in one minute. 
Great! Now hit start. Dude, ever notice that pizza's got all the food groups? Really? Yeah, man. I mean, it's got bread, meat, and vegetables, and cheese. What more do you want, dude? Well, that sounds fine to me. Hey, they're done. Like, whoa, man, you were right. That is faster than delivery. Well, let's open the microwave. Let's remove the pizzas. Oh, taste test. Oh, taste test. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test. Mm -mm -mm. What's it going to be today? Dinners. Chicken nuggets. Hey, what are we making today? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? Yes. Well, what are they so afraid of? Get it? Chicken nuggets? Anyway, we need to preheat the stove. It should be set at 450 degrees. Whew, that's hot. No wonder they're scared. Let's go and prepare the nuggets. We are ready to begin. Let's start by making the breading for the nuggets. We'll need the breadcrumbs. Hmm, are you sure? Hey, Lefty, we're busting out of this bag tonight. You with us? Oh, gee, guys, I don't know. What are you, some kind of crumb? All right, I'm with you. Okay, wait for my signal. We need one and three quarters cup of red crumbs, so let's get the measuring cup. We need to measure out one and three quarters cups of bread crumbs. Now! Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Watch it! Watch Great! We need to put the crumbs into the resealable plastic bag. Whoa! What's going on? Where are we? Great! Now we need three quarters of a cup more bread crumbs. Now! That we need to crush the bread crumbs. We'll do it with the rolling pin. Where's that? Oh, great oh. idea. Oh. Crumb. Now that the crumbs are fine crumbs, we need to add some Parmesan cheese. <coughs> we need a quarter of a cup. Excellent. Now the cheese goes in the bag with the crushed breadcrumbs. Hey, you. Who are these guys? I don't know, but they sure stink. Now shake. We need to melt some butter, so let's find it. <coughs> Great. We need half a stick, so call out the samurai knives. Hiya! Okay, let's visit the microwave. Hey, man, here to melt some butter? Why, yes. Can you help us? Man, melting butter might maybe be mind-blowing. What? Butter is just so, you know, meltable. Okay. Well, we need to melt this butter, so let's put it in the microwave. We need to melt our butter. Where's that butter? Let's set the microwave at 30 seconds and hit start. Great! Now, while we're here, let's rinse the chicken. Now cut that out. Mm -mm. You spit that chicken out or I'll get the scouring powder. Thank you. Now we need to pat the chicken dry with a paper towel. Where are those towels? Great. 
Yo, man, your butter is like totally melted. Thank you. Why don't we get the butter and finish making our breading? Now then, we'll need a quarter cup of buttermilk. Great! Now where's that buttermilk? <laughs> now we need to put a quarter teaspoon of pepper into the bowl. We need just one quarter. Now let's use a mixing spoon to mix it all together. Let's mix. Okay, now we need to chop the chicken up into nugget-sized pieces. We'll need the samurai knives. Hiya! Ooya! Now we need to dip the chicken pieces into the buttermilk mixture in the mixing bowl. Now that the chicken pieces are covered in the buttermilk mixture, they need to go into the bag with the breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. Now shake! Now let's line the nuggets up on the baking sheet. We're chicken nuggets and we're raw. Try us with some fries or slaw. You better wait till we've been cooked. Try us then and you'll be hooked. Very impressive. Let's go back to the stove. We're ready to go. Are you hot yet? Am I hot yet? Why, I'm so hot you could make a diamond inside me. Right. Those chicken nuggets look small enough for me to bake. Well, now look here, kid. They may be small, but they're tough. Uh, you'd better stick to bread for now. Oh, please. Maybe when you're older. We'd better let old Smokey take care of this. Well, he's right, kid. I was handling chicken nuggets before you toasted your first slice of bread. Oh, boy. All right. Let's open Smokey's door. Let's put the pan into Smokey. Now let's set the timer for five minutes. All right, it's set. When the five minutes are up, we'll need to turn over each of the nuggets using the tongs. So let's get the tongs. It's time. Let's open Smokey's door. Hut, two, three, four. Now you close the stove door. They need to bake again for another five minutes. Great. When these five minutes are up, the nuggets will be done. All right. Let's open Smokey's door. Let's turn off the stove. Sorry, I can't help you now. Uh-uh. You're barking up the wrong tree, partner. Stove off. Great job. Oh, taste test. Where are you? Oh, taste test. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to fill the kitchen cleaning. cleaning. Put everything away that where it goes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The dirty floor. Every crawl. And maybe while you're at it, blow your nose. Mm -mm -mm. What's it going to be today? Desserts.
lunches, dinners, desserts. Choco banana shake. <gasps> Time for a taste from the deepest, darkest jungle. It's hot in the jungle. We'll need to cool off. Let's begin with the measuring cup. Excellent. Now let's find the milk. Great. We need to measure out one cup of milk and pour the milk into Blendalini the blender. Oh no! It's not me! I don't think. Grazie! I was a thirsty! Perfect! Now we need to add two tablespoons of cocoa. Where's the tablespoon? <coughs> Good! Now let's get the cocoa. Oh! Go, 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 Grazie. Bellissima. We need one more tablespoon of cocoa. Oh, go 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 Grazie. Oh, you are too good to me. And for our final ingredient, the banana. Grazie. Really, leaving a banana peel out is not only unsanitary, it's dangerous. Someone could slip and break their hip. I'll take care of this. Time to blend. It's called Monkey Madness. I blend it with a gladness. It's made with some cocoa and cubes of an ice flow. Add half a banana, as ripe as you can. Then blend it with milk and you're done. Drink it up. We're ready to serve our shake. Oh, taste test. <laughs> No! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to fill the kitchen clean. Make it gleaming. Put everything away that where it goes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The dirty floor. Every crumb. And maybe while you're at it, blow your nose. To the sink, now scrub it. Back and forth, you rub it. Why, whatever's my teeth, you're almost done, don't stress. So Keep it up, don't stop it. Skate around the floor and mop it. So now the kitchen sparkles. Let's make another mess. Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're gonna make. I'm hungry already. Desserts. Chocolate dipped cherries. Here we have a jar of cherries. Really? Where'd you get the cherries? Did George Washington chop down a tree? No, well, yes, he did. But that's not where we got our cherries. Well, where'd you get them? Uh, the grocery store. The grocery store? Oh, where's the adventure in that? Well, in the days of my great-grandfather Ben Franklin's stove, you had to go out and find a cherry tree to get cherries. But we're covering the cherries in chocolate. Chocolate-covered cherries? Why didn't you say so? Now that's an adventure. Okay. Why don't we start by turning the burner under the saucepan on to medium heat? Low heat. Medium heat. Good. Now we need half a stick of butter. Let's find the butter. 
Next, we need six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. That's the same as one cup, but it's also the same as a small bag of chocolate chips. So let's get them. That looks like fun. Can I help? Yes, you may, in just a minute. Oh boy, thanks. But first, we need to mix the chocolate and the butter until they've melted into a smooth liquid. Let's get the mixing spoon. Pick someone else. Let's stir the mixture until it's smooth. <laughs> Keep going. Mix it some more. Not me, Bob. <laughs> it's getting there. Keep going. <laughs> it's getting easier. Mix more. <laughs> Let's mix it all up. <laughs> Great. Looks like it's as mixed as it's going to get. Excellent. Let's turn the burner off so the chocolate doesn't burn. Low heat. Off. Okay, now we need to lay out a sheet of waxed paper for the cherries. Hey, Toby, would you like to help now? Wow, would I ever. You can help us dip the cherries in the chocolate. Oh, boy. Thanks. But first, we need a cherry. Ready? Ready. Whee! Let's put it on the wax paper to cool. <coughs> Let's do some more. Where are those cherries? Ready? Ready. Whee! Let's put it on the wax paper to cool. Let's do one more. Where are the cherries? Ready? Ready. Whee! Let's put it on the wax paper to cool. <coughs> Great. Let's try them. Oh, taste test. What's it going to be today? Desserts. Chocolate dipped cherries. Choco banana shake. Caramel apples. If you want to make this recipe, click on the start button. Let's make caramel apples. Obviously, we'll need some caramel. Can you find the caramels? Gentlemen, fall out. Don't forget to remove the little plastic wrappers from each caramel. How cluttered everything must be on that counter. Let me help you. Next, we need the tablespoon. Now we need two tablespoons of peanut butter. Let's get the peanut butter. We'll need a tablespoon of water, so let's visit the sink. Here we are at the sink. Let's get the tablespoon. Hello, sir. Um, hi. We've come to see if we could have a tablespoon of water. Sure, I got plenty. Oh, no, no, no. We only need a little water. Oh, okay. You want water? Turn me on. Thank you. Ah, oh, my pleasure. Let's go finish this recipe. <laughs> now we need the little quarter teaspoon. <laughs> Great. We need a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. So how about the cinnamon? Cinnamon, cinnamon, let me in! We are ready to go to the microwave. Let's go. Yo, dude. What's up? We are melting caramel. Mmm, caramel. I wonder why they call it caramel. Caramel, 
Carmel, Caramel, Caramel, Carbell, Clarabelle, Cara Nobel, Cartoon, Carspoon, Carrie Nation, Carrie Fisher. Phew! We should keep that door open more often. Let's put the bowl in. It should cook for two minutes. Great! Let's head back to the counter while he's doing his work. Okay, while the caramel mixture is melting, we'll get the granola ready. First, though, we need a sheet of waxed paper. Waxy, you're so tubular. How about flipping over? <sighs> Excellent. We'll need the tablespoon again. Goody! We need to make three piles of granola on the waxed paper. Each little pile should be one tablespoon. Let's get the granola. Goody! We need to make two more piles. We need one more pile of granola. Funky little critters. Next comes the easy part. We need to put the sticks into the apples. Where are the popsicle sticks? Now let's find the apples. Our caramel should be melted by now. So let's go see Nuke. Yo, dude. It's like ready, man. Great. Let's see if the caramel's completely melted. Let's open the microwave. Let's stir the caramel mixture with the mixing spoon. That's good, but the mixture needs to be much softer. We'll need to microwave it for another 30 seconds. Let's close up the microwave. Okay, now set 30 seconds on the timer. Perfect. This 30 seconds should make the caramel soft enough for us to dip the apples. It's done, dude. Let's stir it again with the spoon. Great! It's perfect. Let's take it out of the microwave. Let's go dip the apples. All we need to do is dunk the apples into the caramel. Now that the apples have had their dunking, we need to roll them in the piles of granola. Ew! Uh, great. Now we can either eat these right away, or... We can store them in the refrigerator. Oh, hi, honey. What have you got for me? Caramel apples. For me? You shouldn't have. Do you think you have room for them? Open up the door and see. <laughs> it looks like they'll fit in perfectly. Let's put them inside. Let's save one for taste test. But remember to close the refrigerator. Please, we're apples! Oh, taste test! How would you like a caramel apple? Well, go right ahead. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to kitchen cleaning, put everything away that where it goes, sweet, 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 the dirty floor, every crawl, and maybe while you're at it, blow your nose, to the sink, now scrub it, back and forth you rub it, why whatever's dirty, you're almost under stress, keep it up, don't stop it, skate around the floor and mop it, now the kitchen sparkles, let's make another mess. What's it going to be today? 
desserts. Vanilla ice cream with chocolate chips. Hi, honey. Oh, uh, hello to you as well. Uh, we just came by to get some ice cream. Oh, I'm sorry, honey, but I'm fresh out. Say, don't you know how to make homemade ice cream? Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that first? You'd have thought of it eventually. We'll need to get some of the ingredients from inside you. Be my guest. I've got everything ready for you. We need to take the half and half to the counter. Great. Let's close the refrigerator door. Good job. Let's get the tin can from the freezer. The Great. Let's get the ice. We need to close the door since the ice isn't in the freezer. Good job. Where's the ice maker? It's not in the freezer. <coughs> That's all we need from the refrigerator now. Thank you, Mother Chill. Anytime, sweetie. Before we can make homemade ice cream, we need to make a homemade ice cream making machine. First, we need an empty milk carton. We need to cut off the top of the carton so that the bottom looks kind of like a little box about five inches high. I bet the samurai knives could help us. Hiya! Ooh-ya! Ooh nice job. You know, those milk carton scraps are really cluttering up your workspace. Why don't you let me take care of that for you? Next, we need to put the cold tin can in the middle of our little box. Man, that's chilly. Hey, bud, who asked you? Next, we need to pack a layer of ice around the can and the box. Great. Next, we need a tablespoon. Very good. Now we need to sprinkle a tablespoon of salt on top of the ice all the way around the can. Let's get the salt. We need to add about three more layers of ice and salt. We need that tablespoon again. Another layer. Hey, quit shoving. Get Last layer of ice and salt. Now we need the tablespoon. Now that the can is packed in with ice, we need to make our ice cream mix. Let's begin with a measuring cup. Now we need the half and half. We need a quarter cup. Half and half. Great. Now we need a teaspoon. Ah, yeah, right. And we also need the sugar. Sweet! Oh, we need the teaspoon again. We need one teaspoon of vanilla, so let's get the vanilla. That's vanilla? It's brown. Are you sure it's not chocolate? It's vanilla! It looks like chocolate. It's vanilla! It looks like chocolate. It's vanilla! Are you sure? Yes, natural vanilla is brown. Okay. Now we need to stir our ice cream mixture for five to six minutes. We'll need the mixing spoon. <coughs> this can be long and tiring work. Your arms might get very tired, but you need to keep stirring. As it gets colder, it will get thicker. <coughs> That's great. Let's take a break. 
We need to add the chocolate chips before the ice cream gets too thick. So, that's vanilla, right? No, it's chocolate. Are you sure? I mean, it's brown, just like the vanilla. You are driving me crazy! We need to stir some more. <coughs> Fine. It looks like it's ready to go. Hooray! Oh, taste test! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing... Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're going to make. I'm hungry already. Desserts. Ice cream snowman. Hi, honey. Oh, uh, hello to you as well. Uh, we just came by to get some ice cream. Be my guest. Anytime, sweetie. Okay. Let's open up the freezer. <laughs> there it is. Let's take it out of the freezer. Uh, let's c c close the freezer door. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime, sweetie. Let's go make our snowman. First, let's get our plate. Good. Now we need to sprinkle the shredded coconut on the plate so it looks like it's covered with snow. Let's a perfect background for our snowman. Now, let's get the ice cream scoop. Hey, scoop! Now we've got the scoop. Let's get the ice cream. Let's put a large scoop of ice cream in the middle of the plate. Don't miss, or I'll have to eat it. Now we need a second, smaller scoop on top of the first one. Here's the wind-up and the pitch! Ooh, ball! We better try this again. Here's the wind-up and mm -hmm. the pitch! You're out! Perfect! There's our snowman. Here we have some candy corn, chocolate chips, cinnamon sticks, ice cream, and red licorice. Decorate the snowman with candy as desired. That snowman looks delicious and beautiful. Oh, taste test! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to... Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're going to make. I'm hungry already. Desserts. Fourth of July, ice cream pie. If you want to make this recipe... Hi, honey. Oh, uh, hello to you as well. Uh, we just came by to get some ingredients. Be my guest. I've got everything ready for you. Uh, right. 
so we need the strawberries. Are you kidding? So long, my little darlings. Be good. We also need some blueberries. You make a good pie here. Uh, and we need some whipped cream. <whistles> Great. Well, let's close the refrigerator d door. Good job. Let's get the vanilla ice cream from the freezer. Phew, it's cold. Now, where is that vanilla ice cream? Great! Let's close the door before it starts getting cold again. Great job! Thank you! Anytime, sweetie. Let's go make pie. It looks like we've got everything we need. Hmm, ice cream, fruit, a graham cracker pie crust, oh yes, and an ice cream scoop. Let's begin. First, we need the ice cream. Uh. Hurry! I'm melting! Great, and now the ice cream scoop. Yo, scoop! We need to put one large scoop of ice cream in the middle of our pie crust. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. It's a hit. Dead center. The scoop has done it again. Scoop! 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 No, no, ladies and gentlemen, they're not booing. They're just chanting, scoop! Scoop! Perfect. Now we need the whipped cream. Now we need to put whipped cream all around the ice cream in the pie crust. We need a little more. And just a bit more. Now there should be a thin layer of whipped cream covering the pie crust. It should look like this. Now, using our fruit and whipped cream, we can decorate our pie in any red, white, and blue design we'd like. In fact, this dessert is perfect for the 4th of July. When you're finished, help me call Taste Test and we'll see how he likes it. If you're done, if you're done decorating, please. Oh, taste test. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than thirty seconds. It's time to. Mm -mm -mm. What's it going to be today? Desserts. Leprechaun Lime Shake. For a touch of the Blarney, let's make a Leprechaun Lime Shake. What do you think of that, Blendolini? It's a Leprechaun Shake? Ooh, you want some Irish music? <laughs> I'll take you home again, Kathleen. Uh, nice try. We need to start with the honeydew melon. Now let's hit the samurai knives button and get those samurai knives to cut the melon in half. Hiya! Ooh yeah! 
Now let's remove the seeds from inside the melon. Let's use the spoon. Hey, Sterling! Not me! Not me! Try again! At your service. Okay, we need one cup of cut up honeydew melon, so let's get those samurai knives again. Hiya! Ooh-ya! Perfect. Now we need the measuring cup. Let's fill the cup. Grazie. We need the milk. We need that measuring cup again. We need a half a cup of milk. Good. That's a quarter cup. We still need a half a cup of milk. Grazie. Next, we need the tablespoon. Now we need sugar. I'm not the one you want. Leprechaun Lime Shake requires two tablespoons of sugar. Mamma mia! Woof! She's a sweet! We need one more tablespoon of sugar. Mamma mia! Woohoo! She's even a sweeter! Next, we need the tablespoon again. Now we need a bottle of lemon juice. We need one tablespoon of lemon juice. Mamma mia! Ooh, she's a sour! Now we need to blend this for 10 seconds. Are you ready, Blendolini? I'm ready! Let's turn on Blendolini and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! We're not finished yet. Let's remove Blendolini's lid. Now let's get the lime sherbet. And we'll need the ice cream scoop. Hey, scoop! We need to put two scoops of lime sherbet into Blendolini. And the scoop has the ball. The scoop's got a lot of open cards. Scoop jumps and he drains it! We need another scoop of sherbet. Scoop's got the ball again. Time's running out. He's at half court. He shoots. He scores! Well, we're ready to blend again. Let's put the lid back on Blendolini. Now let's blend. When a leprechaun told me he granted three wishes, I wasn't so greedy, but I was ambitious. I sat there a wishing to be in the kitchen, and that's how I came to be with you today. We're ready to drink the shake, but before we do, I want to show you something fun you can do with the glass. And we have a top hat, just like a magician. But instead of a rabbit coming out, we'll have leprechaun lime shake going in. Let's pour a glass right now. For some extra fun, you can make little shamrocks out of green construction paper to decorate the plate. Oh, taste test! <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing... Mm-mm-mm. What's it gonna be today? Desserts. Lucky New Year cake. If you want to make this Happy New Year. Eh, don't remind me. What's wrong? Every New Year makes me feel old. You're not that old. Not that old? Why, well, I'm so old I remember when Old Spice was just spice. Well, we still need you. Why? We're baking a lucky New Year cake. Eh, what's so lucky about it? You'll see. But first, we need to preheat the stove to 350 degrees. Okay, let's go. Okay, now let's mix up the cake batter. 
Let's begin by greasing the cake pans with butter. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot. We're not finished with the butter. We need it again. We need a stick and a half of butter in the mixing bowl. Call out the samurai knives. Hiya! Hiya! We need three eggs, so let's get those eggs in the bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing juggling eggolinis! Yeah. Now we need a measuring cup. And we also need the sugar. We need three quarters cup of sugar. Sweet! Great work! Now we need to mix this up. Let's get the electric mixer. Try again. It's not creamy enough. Let's mix more. Terrific. Now it's nice and creamy. Great. Now we need our dry ingredients. Why don't we begin with the flour? We'll need to sift it, so let's get the sifter. First, we need to sift one cup of flour. Then we'll measure out an additional half cup of flour. to sift another half cup of flour. Sorry, can't help you now. So far so good. Next we need the teaspoon. Not me! Excellent. Now we need the baking powder. Fire one! Fire two! Guess what? We're going to need that mixer again. Let's mix a little more. Now that our batter is all mixed up, there's just one last ingredient. We need to put one lucky walnut into the bowl. Now we need to pour the cake batter into the pans. Let's get the bowl. Good work. Now let's go and put the cake into Smokey. Well, we're ready to bake our lucky New Year cake. yip -y. Well, are you hot yet? Whatever. I'm so hot I'm at 350 degrees. What's wrong? I told you. I'm too old for this type of thing. Aw, you're never too old for a lucky New Year cake. Let's open Smokey. Let's put the cake pans in. Remember, the stove is very hot. Okay, the cake should bake for 25 minutes. Let's set the timer. Great. Yep, another 25 minutes of my life gone. Are you always this depressed around the new year? What, you think this is depressed? Well, last year I was so low I was under the linoleum. How can you be depressed when you're baking Lucky New Year cake? I still don't see what's so lucky about it. You'll see. Your cake's done. Let's open Smokey's door. Great. When the cake is cool, we can frost and decorate it. Let's go. Have a lucky time. Now that the cake is cool, we'll put one layer of cake on the plate. Next, let's frost it. Now the next layer is placed on top, and that gets frosted too. Now let's frost the top of the cake. Now let's decorate. Here we have lots of different candies and more white frosting. When you're finished, help me call taste test.
Old Smokey, would you like to try the lucky New Year cake? Sure, whatever. Hmm, mm, not bad. Hey, what's this? There's a walnut in my piece. Congratulations! You got the lucky piece. That means you'll be lucky for the whole year. Really? I'm lucky? I'm lucky! Why, I'm so lucky I, I feel like a leprechaun. Get it? I'm so lucky I feel like a four-leaf clover. I'm so lucky to have such good friends. Yay! Oh, taste test. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing taste test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to fill the kitchen clean. Make it gleaming. Put everything away that where it goes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The dirty floor. Every crawl. And maybe while you're at it, blow your nose. To the sink, now scrub it. Back and forth, you rub it. Why, whatever's my teeth, you're almost done, don't stress. So Keep it up, don't stop it. Skate around the floor and mop it. So now the kitchen sparkles. Let's make another mess. Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're going to make. I'm hungry already. Desserts. Birthday cake. Howdy, what's cooking? A birthday cake. Yay! <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Someone very special. Happy, 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 happy. Wait, wait. Wait until the cake is ready. We'd better quit talking and start baking. Well, we need to preheat you. Snap to it. What temperature? 350 degrees. Hurry! I can hardly wait. Okay, now let's mix up the cake batter. Let's begin by greasing the cake pans with butter. Whoops, I forgot. We're not finished with the butter. We need it again. We need a stick and a half of butter in the mixing bowl. Call out the samurai knives. Hiya! Ooya! We need three eggs, so let's get those eggs in the bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing juggling eggolinis! Now we need the measuring cup. And we also need the sugar. We need three quarters cup of sugar. Sweet! Great work! Now we need to mix this up. Let's get the electric mixer. Not me, Bob. It's not creamy enough. Let's mix more. <laughs> Terrific! Now it's nice and creamy. Great! Now we need our dry ingredients. Why don't we begin with the flour? We'll need to sift it, so let's get the sifter. First, we need to sift one cup of flour. Then we'll measure out an additional half cup of flour. So far, so good. Next, we need the teaspoon. Excellent. Now we need the baking powder. Fire one. Fire two. Guess what? We're going to need that mixer again. Let's mix a little more. Now we need to pour the cake batter into the pans. Let's get the bowl. Good work. 
Now let's go and put the cake into Smokey. Well, we're ready to bake our birthday cake. Happy, 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 happy. Wait, we haven't even baked the cake yet. A birthday's only one day, you know. We don't want to spend all day cooking. Well, are you hot yet? Am I hot yet? Why, I'm so hot I could light a birthday candle. We need to open Smokey's door. Let's put the cake pans in. Remember, the stove is very hot. Okay, the cake should bake for 25 minutes. Let's set the timer. Great! Can we sing it now, please? Not yet. You know, I once baked a cake for someone who was a hundred years old. Did they enjoy it? Well, after the fire department put out the candles, there <laughs> wasn't much to enjoy. I see. Your cake's done. Let's open Smokey's door. When the cake is cool, we can frost and decorate it. Can't we sing it yet? It's not done yet. Well, finish it so the kid can sing. Okay, okay, let's go. Now that the cake is cool, we'll put one layer of cake on the plate. Next, let's frost it. Now the next layer is placed on top, and that gets frosted too. Now let's frost the top of the cake. Now let's decorate. Here we have lots of different candies and more white frosting. When you're finished, Help me call taste test. Oh, taste test! Can we finally sing? Yes, we can finally sing. Will you help taste test? <laughs> okay, everybody. A one and a two and a three. Happy, 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 happy birthday! Today's a special day just for you. Now you're one year older and wiser. You can have your cake and eat it too. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing type. Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're going to make. I'm hungry already. Desserts. Discoveries. Nope. You can't make that recipe yet. First, you have to discover it in the mix and match mode. Desserts. Creations. If you want to go to the mix and match Desserts. modes, close the cookbook and go back to the main kitchen. Nope. Then, you can't click make on that the recipe cooking yet. apron. All right! Have you ever put grape jelly on a pickle? Choose who you want to play with oh, by no. clicking on them. Not me. Dude. Oh no. I know how to Not make me. some gnarly nauseous. Hey, Akido, don't you want to make some bellissimo drinks? Ha ha! 
You choose a blandolini. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, so happy. There's a uh, lots of good stuff you can put in the drinks. You can find some for blandolini. Hey, kid, blandolini, he needs that to make the drinks. Hi, honey. You need to get some things from me? Now, don't you worry, you sweetheart. Mix and match? Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Toby, what are you doing there? Practicing. <laughs> cool. Have you Choose who you want to play with by clicking on them. Welcome to Toby's Sandwich Station. If you take the bread away, I won't have anything to toast. Mother, you can't can help you find the we we'll need it later. Need. Hi there, love. You need some ingredients? If you see something you'd like to use, just click on it to move. Peanut butter. Grape jelly. Ham. Cheese. I'd recommend starting with the piece of bread. Toast it. I'd be happy to toast that for you. Don't you want me to toast that for you? Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Told you I could toast good. Guess what? You've discovered a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yum! I'll add it to your cookbook under Discoveries, so you can make it any time you like. Taste test is in for a big surprise! <laughs> no! What's it going to be today? Discoveries. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Nope, you can't make that recipe yet. First, you have to discover it in the mix Peanut and match Peanut butter mode. and jelly sandwich. Every sandwich I know starts with a slice of bread. <laughs> You're looking for something made with peanuts to spread on the bread. Good job! That gooey purple stuff in the jar might be good to use next. <laughs> Super! Now, take another slice of bread and put it on the top. The sandwich is ready to eat. I like to squish it so the jelly smooshes out the sides. Aren't you going to feed Taste Test? Come on, Taste Test! Boy, do we have something special for you. What's it going to be today? Discoveries. Nope, you can't make that recipe yet. First, you have to discover it in the mix and match mode. Cool! Choose... Hooray! <laughs> Hi there, love. You need some... If you see... Ham. Cheese. 
I'd recommend starting with the... I'd be happy to toast that for you. I'd be happy to toast that for you. You're in mix and match mode where you get to build your own crazy sandwich. Toby will tell you what to do. Done! Told you I could toast good. Hooray! You've discovered a ham and cheese sandwich. Tasty. I'll add it to your cookbook under Discoveries, so you can make it any time you like. Come on, Taste Test. Boy, do we have something special for you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the... All right! Have you ever played... Choose who you want to play with by clicking on them. Whoa! Flashback! Uh-uh! You're backing up the I road and some partner. gnarly noshes. Hey, Akido! Don't you want to make us some bellissimo drinks? Aren't you going to pick someone to play with? Mm-mm-mm. What's it going to be today? Discoveries. Nope, you can't make that recipe yet. First, you have to discover it in the mix and match mode. Excellent! I can't wait to see what we're gonna make. I'm hungry already. Discovery ham and cheese sandwich. Every sandwich I know starts with a slice of bread. <laughs> that bread looks a little empty. Let's add some ham. We need another slice of ham. Okay, now, what is the other important ingredient in a ham and cheese? One more slice of cheese will do. Now you can add mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, or lettuce if you like. When you're done, close the sandwich and feed taste. Your sandwich. Come on, Taste Test. Boy, do we have something special for you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Taste Test will clean the entire kitchen in less than 30 seconds. It's time to fill the kitchen clean. Make it gleaming. Put everything away that where it goes. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The dirty floor. And every crawl. And maybe while you're at it, blow your nose. To the sink that's got it. All right. Have you ever. Choose who you want to play with by clicking uh, on them. Uh, uh, me. Not me. Hi there, love. You need some ingredients? Now, ground beef patty, mayonnaise, lettuce, yogurt, cheese. You can put it in ketchup, mustard, spaghetti, a dissected frog, I'd recommend starting with a piece of bread. Toasting! Don't you want me to toast that for you? I'd be happy to toast that for you. Wow! You've discovered a super deluxe burger. Delicious! I'll add it to your cookbook under Discoveries, so you can make it any time you like. Come on, Taste Test! Boy, do we have something special for you! 
What's it gonna be today? Discoveries Super Deluxe Burger! You can't make a burger without a piece of bread to put it on! <laughs> hmm, that patty of ground beef might be a great start for a hamburger! Now, add cheese, ketchup, Mustard, mayonnaise, or lettuce, if you'd like. When you're done with your burger, close it up and feed Taste Test. Your taste test is in for a big surprise. <laughs> What's it gonna be today? Discoveries. Nope, you can't make that recipe yet. First, nope, you have to discover you can't it. Make that no, recipe yet. Make that recipe First, yet. you have to discover Cool! Choosing. Whoa! You got here fast, man! <laughs> Hi, honey. You need to get some things from now, me? Now, don't you w Tortillas. Cheese. My friend. Big potato, but you haven't got the time to wait. Let's go away. These quick red cookies. Forget old fashioned ovens, cause they're only gonna make you late. Let's go away. These quick red cookies. Pop the food inside and see the molecules that tell you Let's go away. These quick red cookies. Oh, listen up, my honey's to my golden rule. Who you don't care. If you want the latest kitchen gossip, I know it all. I love to snoop. It just comes naturally. Come by and see me at my beauty parlor. Step inside, dishes. I'll give you the buzz, the tattle, and the scoop. My faucet, I squirt out water. It's my job to get things all wet. So my motto is, don't say it, spray it. Don't you love my water, Jack? When I grow up, I hope to be the one who boils a pot of tea. The one who bakes the best cookies or makes the finest roast meat. Until that day, I made that change into a great big oven range. I hope your taste buds settle for the perfect slice of toast.
I've seen a lot of kitchens, not a hundred chefs or more. I've cooked for kings and presidents, but I'm not keeping score. If you think I can be replaced by new technology, well, guess again, my little friend, there's no one bakes like me. When I eat food, don't think me rude, but I so love debris. All right! Whoa! Hi, honey. You need to get some tortillas. Cheese. Shredded chicken. You can put an ingredient back. Yeah, this is gonna be tasty. Yeah, this is gonna be tasty. Whoa, that is looking totally munchable. Yeah, this is gonna be tasty. Whoa, that is looking totally munchable. Here I go, dude. Taking some ordinary stuff and transforming it into the most outrageous, radical, taste trip sensation. That's why they call me Nook, man. I heat it, you eat it. Whoa, that is looking to Excellent. You've discovered chicken quesadillas. Tasty. I'll add it to your cookbook under Discoveries, so you can make it any time you like. Hey, four-legged dude! Time to dine on one ferocious snack! What's it going to be today? Discoveries. Chicken quesadilla. Tortilla. Tortilla. <laughs> Let's slap one on that plate. Choose the cheese, dude. It'll do this outrageous dance with that funky metal thing. Chicken. Yeah, you should put some on. Open me up and pop it in, dude. Time to get nuking. You want to set me for one and a half minutes, my friend. Here I go, dude. Taking some ordinary stuff and transforming it into the most outrageous, radical, taste trip sensation. That's why they call me Nook, man. I heat it, you eat it. Bud, are you totally spaced out? You need to take the plate out. Duh. Now, let's slap another tortilla on top of your masterpiece. Time for munching. Hey, four-legged dude. Time to dine on one ferocious snack. Excellent. I can't wait to see what we're going to make. I'm hungry already. Creations. Discoveries. Nope, you can't make that recipe yet. First, you have to discover it in the mix and match mode.
Cool. Whoa. Hi, honey. You need to get some things from me. Not if you see chip. something, you refried beans. Cheese. Whoa, that is looking totally munchable. Awesome! Ha! You're a pro. Yeah, this is good. Here I go, dude. Taking some ordinary stuff and transforming it into the most outrageous, radical, taste trip sensation. That's why they call me Nook, man. I heat it, you eat it. Whoa, that is looking totally munch. Hey, four-legged dude, time to dine on one ferocious snack. I've been writing down how you made this recipe step by step. You can type in a name for your new creation, and I'll add it to the cookbook so you can make it again. All right! Have you ever... Choose who you want... Whoa! Hi there, love. You need some of... Nacho chips. Cheese. Whoa, that is looking totally munchable. Whoa, you're really good at this. Here I go, dude. Taking some ordinary stuff and transforming it into the most outrageous, radical, taste trip sensation. That's why they call me Nook, man. I heat it, you eat it. Whoa. Uh, dog. Dogorama. Dogalonius. Got something for you. I've been writing down how you made this recipe step by step. You can type in a name for your new creation, and I'll add it to the cookbook so you can make it again. All right! Have you ever put... Whoa! You got here fast, man! <laughs> Hi, honey. You need if to get some nacho chips. Refried beans. Cheese, shredded chicken, chopped olives, ice cream, Whoa, you're really good at this. Whoa, you're really good at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. This here I go, dude. Taking some ordinary stuff and transforming it into the most outrageous, radical, taste trip sensation. That's why they call me Nook, man. I heat it, you eat it. Hey, four legged dude. Time to dine on one ferocious snack. I've been writing down how you made this recipe step by step. 
You can type in a name for your new creation, and I'll add it to the cookbook so you can make it again. Cool! Choose who you want to play with. Whoa! Hi there, love. You need some ingredients? Not now, don't chips. you... Chopped olives. Cheese. Refried beans. Ha! You're a pro, dude! Ha! You're a pro, dude! Awesome! Here I go, dude! Taking some ordinary stuff and transforming it into the most outrageous, radical, taste trip sensation. That's why they call me Nook, man. I heat it, you eat it. Wow, you really. Uh, you're. A yeah, this is good. Hey, bud, you've discovered nachos. An excellent munchable. I'll add it to your cookbook under Discoveries, so you can make it any time you like. Uh, dog, Dogorama, Dogalonius, got something for you. Discoveries, nachos. Chips are great for munching, no matter what you put on top. Let's add some. The cheese is essential. I'm totally serious. Open me up and pop it in, dude. You want to set me for one and a half minutes, my friend. Here I go, dude. Taking some ordinary stuff and transforming it into the most outrageous, radical, taste trip sensation. That's why they call me Nook, man. I heat it, you eat it. But, buddy, no nosh is a nosh without refried beans. Cool. Our last step is to sprinkle olives on the top. Then the taste meister can munch. Time for munching. Hey, four-legged dude. Time to dine on one ferocious snack. Choose who you want to play with. Ha ha! You choose a blendolini! Ha <laughs> ha! Hi there, love. You need some ingredients? Ice now. cream. Cocoa powder. Milk. Oh, you come back to Blendolini. We're going to make some wonderful drinks. Let's take a lid off, Blendolini. You are a good cook, Blend... Oh, you are going to be my... Mmm, looking good, kiddo. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. You are a good cook. Oh. Blending. Oh, 
Oh boy, kid, you've discovered a chocolate ice cream shake. I'll add it to your cookbook under Discoveries, so you can make it any time you like. Hey, doggy, we got something yummy for you. What's it going to be today? Discoveries. Chocolate ice cream shake. Oh, you come back to Blendolini. We're going to make us some wonderful drinks. Now you're looking for the sweetened cocoa, huh? A quarter cup will do. Mmm, I could really go for three small scoops of ice cream. You still need two more scoops. Come on, only one more scoop to go. Blendolini is thinking about a half a cup of milk. We still need one quarter cup more. Don't forget to put my lid on. Oh, I'm just dying to blend this. Blending! It's ready! Bravo! Oh, test, test! Come and get it! Choose who you want to play. Ha ha! Hi there, love. You need... Now, blueberries. Milk. Yogurt. You... Oh, you come back to Blendolini. We're gonna make us some wonderful drinks. Bellissimo! I'm a so proud. Oh, you're gonna be my. Mmm, looking good. Oh, you're gonna be my best. This. Blending! Bellissimo! You've discovered a blueberry smoothie. Yum! I'll add it to your cookbook under Discoveries, so you can make it any time you like. Hey, doggy, we got something yummy for you. Choose who you want to Discoveries. Blueberry smoothie. Oh, you come back to Blendolini. We're going to make some wonderful drinks. I'm thinking we need one quarter cup of something blue. Ooh, I just love the taste of yogurt. Can you give me one half a cup? We still need one quarter cup more. Now, now I think so you add one quarter cup of cold milk. <laughs> Moo, <laughs> that's a cow. Hey, Blendolini, he prefers to wear his hat while he's blending. Oh, I'm just uh, dying to blend this. 
blending. Fa la 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 la. It's ready to drink. You better pick somebody else. Hey, doggy, we got something yummy for you. Have you ever put grape jelly on a pickle? Made a cookie with ground beef and chocolate chip? Choose who you want to play with by clicking on them. Ha ha! You choose a blendolini! <laughs> oh! Hi, honey. You need. Now, eggs. Just click on an ingredient once, sugar. Half and half. Nutmeg. Vanilla. Oh, you come back to Blendolini. We're gonna make some wonderful drinks. You are a good cook. Blendolini, he would not. Bellissimo. I'm a so. Mmm, look at. Oh, you are gonna be my best student. Blending. Fa la 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 la. Terrifico. You've discovered the recipe for eggnog. I'll add it to your cookbook under Discoveries, so you can make it any time you like. Hey, doggy, we got something yummy for you. What's it gonna be today? Discoveries. Eggnog. Oh, you come back to Blendolini. We're gonna make some wonderful drinks. I'm gonna give you a hint, okay, kid? You need to crack two of these to make this drink. I'm gonna need two tablespoons of something so sweet it makes my mouth water. One more tablespoon to go. To make Sorry, the drink creamy and smooth, we need one half a cup of half and a half. We still need one quarter cup more. Now, you add one tablespoon of this to give it some vanilla flavor. A sprinkle of a nutmeg spice on the top, and boom, we're ready to blend. Don't forget to put my lid on. Oh, I'm just uh, dying to blend this. Blending. Fa la 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 la. Good job, kiddo. It's the best drink ever. Hey, doggy. We got something yummy for you. And now Cool. Have you ever Choose who you want to play with. 
Ha 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 ha! Hi, honey. If you strawberry milk, ice cream. Oh, you come back to Blendolini. <laughs> We're gonna make some wonderful drinks. I'm so proud. You a good cook. Blend. Mmm, looking good. I'm so proud. You gotta be crazy or something. Bellissimo. Mmm, looking. Blending. Fa la 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 la. Oh, kid, I'm so impressed. You've discovered a strawberry shake. I'll add it to your cookbook under Discoveries, so you can make it any time you like. Oh, test, test. Come and get it. What's it gonna be today? Discoveries, discoveries, strawberry ice cream shake. Oh, you come back to Blendolini. <laughs> We're gonna make some wonderful drinks. Ooh, let's start out with a sweet cup of strawberries. We still need three quarter cups more. Only one half a cup to go. We still need one quarter cup more. Mmm, I could really go for three small scoops of ice cream. You still need two more scoops. Come on, only one more scoop to go. Blendolini is thinking about a half a cup of milk. We still need one quarter cup more. Hey, Blendolini, he prefers to wear his hat while he's blending. Oh, I'm just uh, dying to blend this. Blending! It's uh, ready to drink. Oh, test, test! Come and get it! Well, guys, that is all of the ingredients and recipes in this game. I hope you enjoyed. We got to look at different sections of the cookbook, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, and some discovery recipes. Maybe you learned something fun that you can cook. What was your favorite recipe? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the gameplay. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. And you're always welcome to come back hang and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Are you sure you want to exit the kitchen? There's always something new Just add imagination And we will work for you I eat the trash I bake your food There ain't nobody sicker But if you want it fast, use me Cause I can do it quicker I blend I toast We hang around I keep food cold inside I squirt. Then I wash every dish and warm them till they're dried. Welcome to your kitchen. Welcome, welcome. There's always something welcome new. Your kitchen. Just add imagination welcome, and we will work for you. Welcome to your kitchen. Just add imagination.